All right, I want to walk you through a uh, solution of uh, several 23B post class uh, problems. Okay, let's start with this one. So we have a coil over here which lies on the horizontal. So in uh, the X plane in this uh, picture, and we have a magnet uh, which is moved in to uh, that coil. So and that motion is is shown by that uh, line over here. Okay, so first of all, this magnet, and this is the south pole, this is north pole, and therefore we can immediately identify the direction of the magnetic field uh, due to this magnet. It will be like this. Okay, next it's moved in, so we are going to uh, use this um, a given uh, so that we can actually uh, solve this problem. So since it moves in, then the magnetic field inside the coil Right? The magnetic field due to that magnet is going to increase as a function of time. All right? The magnetic field increases, that means that the flux, the corresponding flux inside that coil is going to increase. Okay, if the flux increases, we use this lenses uh, rule, flux increases, that means that the induced magnetic field will be opposite to the external one, will be opposite. So this is the induced, we need to indicate, uh, this is the external one, it's the B magnet, so it's external, it's the same as magnetic field. So it goes this way, um, in the coil, inside the coil. The induced, which we have to indicate also inside the coil, will be opposite to B external, so it will be like that. So now we have to come up with direction of the induced current in that coil such that it will be consistent with direction of the induced magnetic field. Uh, so for that, we are going to use the right-hand rule number two, and uh, that what I did here, and I found that the direction of the induced current will be like that. Or if you uh, look at it from above, then it will be in counterclockwise direction. So if you ask also about the induced EMF, its, it's direction is coincides with the direction of the current. So it essentially summarizes the uh, solution of this problem here. So now let's consider another one. So here we have two coils, okay, coil one and coil two. So let's discuss coil one first. Coil one, uh, the uh, switch was just open, it was uh, is was opened, okay, the switch was opened and they're going to close it right away and we are going to discuss a situation where we just, uh, just close that switch. So when they just close that switch, the current will start flowing, okay, I1 will start flowing, okay, I1 is going to increase as a function of time, I1 is going to increase the function of time, that's a key point here. Okay, but nonetheless, so even if I1 doesn't change, okay, uh, it will still produce magnetic field, okay? Okay, we can indicate this magnetic field over here, I indicate it over here, so by using the right-hand rule number two to find the direction of this, uh, of this magnetic field. So and I'm just finding it inside the coil right away, so that will be the direction of the magnetic field. All right, uh, so that's the direction of magnetic field, but now I1 is increasing as a function of time. That means that the corresponding magnetic field, you, you remember that uh, the magnetic field generated by the current, okay, is proportional to that current, right? So the magnetic field in the, the current is increases, increases, uh, and then the magnetic field, which is proportional to the current, also increases as a function of time. Since the magnetic field increases and the flux is increases using the lenses rule, then we will find that B induced, the induced magnetic field will be opposite uh, to the direction of the external one. In this case, the direction of the external one is a direction which is produced by the coil one. Okay, so B induced will be opposite to uh, B1. So in this is I demonstrated in this figure. So that was the induced, this will be the uh, uh, this there was external and this is the induced. So now we need to find the direction of the induced current in the coil two in a such a way as it will be consistent with the directions of B induced. So here I again use the right hand rule number two to find that these two directions are consistent with each other. Okay, use the right hand rule. And finally, let's consider another problem. So this problem had the multiple, multi, this problem had multiple, you know, 
entries there are multiple questions i just considering like one of them i think it's more or less sufficient to have some type of uh, uh some type of scheme of how to solve the problems like this and and to also to have a cross check on your solution so but now let's consider the next problem over here so the next problem over here we have a current okay we have current in this direction in this wire so and we have a coil over here and the current increases in time okay so now this is just the uh, this just 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 the straight wire we can find uh, that the straight wire with the current produces the magnetic field by using the right hand rule number two we can find that the produced magnetic field here will be going into the plane and he will on this side of the current he will be going out of that plane so but here it will going to be into the plane on that left side of the wire so everywhere here the magnetic field will be going into into the uh, 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 into the plane okay so in other words so it will be like concentric circles over here like this okay like this and the magnetic field will, will be going like that okay Anyway, so, and everywhere on the uh, left-hand side from this wire, the magnetic field on that plane will be going into the plane, and here it will be going out. All right, very good. So now uh, we define the direction of this magnetic field due to the straight piece of the wire inside that uh, loop. So it will be into the plane, into the plane. Okay, so now we, what we know is that the current is increasing and the corresponding magnet, so the current is increasing, the corresponding magnetic field will increase and since magnetic field increases, you remember again, so there is an equation which, uh, which uh, defines the magnetic field of a straight wire, right? So it was mu zero divided by two pi r uh, times uh, the current, right? So magnetic field is proportional to the current. All right, so now, now, um, magnetic field increases since the current increases magnetic field increases and therefore the flux through that loop is going to increase so since the flux increases we use again lenz's law which tells us in that uh, the induced magnetic field then has to be opposite to uh, the external one the, in this case the external one is the one generated by the straight wire okay and being induced is opposite okay this is what i indicate over here it's opposite so here it goes in here it goes out Okay, now I need to find the directions of the induced current in that loop such that it would be consistent with directions of B induced. And by the way, so remember B induced has to be has to be indicated inside that loop. Okay, and I found again this counterclockwise over here. Okay, there are some multiple uh, other questions over here which fall in this problem, but uh, again, I think uh, I'm giving this just one simple example. Uh, we'll give you a good cross-check on your solution and uh, maybe a little bit more understanding of how to solve those problems.